Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. So it's a cold and chilly day today, as expected in the months of January and February. So we're making a heartwarming recipe, but not just any recipe, one of the most legendary ones that hail from Spain. We're talking a lentil stew with chorizo. Now there's a lot of lentil stew recipes out there, but let me tell you, this one right here stands out above the rest as it's got so many beautiful depths of flavors to it. It's absolutely so easy to make, and with that first spoonful, it's gonna instantly warm your soul. Folks, this is another recipe where there's no tricky techniques, uh, no special equipment needed, just honest clean cooking that packs some serious goodness. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. Now, Tienda is an online superstore focusing on selling all things Spain for your home and kitchen, and they've been around since 1996. And let me tell you, they have such an amazing selection of artisan Spanish ingredients, like queso manchego, the famous jamón serrano and jamón iberico, the beautiful canned seafood from Spain, marcona almonds, olives, and all the spices you need to make all your favorite recipes from Spain, among so many other ingredients. And let me tell you, when it comes to cookware, they have a beautiful selection of authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings, and they even offer classic grilling systems that way you can always perfectly cook your paella. Folks, visit tienda.com, let them know Albert from Spain on a Fork sent you there, and make sure you use coupon code on a fork during checkout for 10% off your order. All right, let's just dive right into this recipe. I'm gonna heat a stock pot with a medium heat and add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 35 milliliters. Now the ingredients I prepared beforehand are one small onion that I finely chopped, four cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped, one red and one green bell pepper that have been finely chopped, one carrot that's been peeled and thinly sliced, uh, one large potato that's been peeled and cut into small bite-sized pieces that are half an inch thick, which is about one and a quarter centimeters, and two links of chorizo that I cut into slices that are half an inch thick, which once again is one and a quarter centimeters. The chorizo that I'm using is plant-based. However, traditionally, pork chorizo is used here. Either way that you go, make sure it's a firm chorizo. That way, once you cook it, it holds its shape and it doesn't fall apart. You'll find a link where you can get the plant-based and the pork chorizo in the description box below. All right, let's move back to the stock pot. Once the olive oil is nice and hot, but it's not smoking, I'm gonna add in the slices of chorizo and we'll mix them around. That way they're all coated in that olive oil and you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there every 30 seconds or so. After about three minutes and the slices of chorizo are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in all the chopped vegetables except for the potato. and we'll mix it together. That way all the vegetables are coated in that olive oil. And at this point, you wanna make sure to mix this continuously. That way everything evenly sautés. After about four minutes and the vegetables are lightly sautéed, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about two and a half grams. And we'll give it a quick mix. That way the paprika is evenly coating all the ingredients. Then we'll add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 115 grams. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together and then simmer it without mixing. As always, the tomato sauce that I'm using, I made by finely grating fresh tomatoes, but you can also use canned tomato sauce here, pasata, or even Spanish tomate frito. While the tomato sauce is simmering, let's start getting our lentils ready. I'm gonna measure out one cup of brown lentils, which is 210 grams. For this recipe, make sure to use brown lentils and not the red kind, as with the method we're gonna cook them in, if you use red, they're gonna get mushy and split open. Then we'll transfer the lentils into a fine sieve and rinse them under some cold running water and make sure you remove any debris if you find any. After simmering the tomato sauce for about three minutes and it's slightly thickened up, I'm gonna add in the drained lentils, the chopped potato, and five cups of vegetable broth, which is 1200 milliliters. You can also use water here if you like, but by using the broth, it gives this lentil stew a beautiful hearty flavor. And we'll also add in one bay leaf. Then we'll turn up the heat to a high heat 
give it a mix and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to place the lid on the stock pot and lower the fire to a low heat and we're going to simmer this between 25 to 30 minutes or until the lentils are fully cooked through so make sure to check the package instructions in the lentils that you're using and once again very important to be on a low heat if you use anything higher you do take the chance of those lentils splitting open after about 30 minutes i'm going to remove the lid from the stock pot and look how beautiful this turned out. And at this point, all the ingredients should be fully cooked through. You can always give it a taste test to see if the lentils need a little bit more time. At this point, I'm gonna season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it one final mix. That way those seasonings are evenly incorporated into the stew. And as you can see, I didn't season till the end. When you're working with dried lentils, if you season them before they're cooked, they're gonna end up with a tough texture. Then we'll remove the stock pot from the heat. Transfer some of the lentil stew into a shallow bowl. And we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our lentil stew with chorizo is done. This is known in Spain as lentejas con chorizo. Beautiful presentation, absolutely easy to make. And with that first spoonful, it's going to instantly warm your soul. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, lentejas con chorizo, a legendary Spanish recipe. Here we go. cold and chilly day outside and this right here instantly warms your soul and it's for the flavors and textures the combination of all the ingredients it is such an explosion of goodness and even though i used uh, the plant-based chorizo instead of the pork one making this not 100 percent authentic the flavors are right on the money folks serve this next to a crunchy baguette uh, and a bottle of spanish red wine more specifically from the wine region of pal de peñas you're gonna have yourself an instant trip to beautiful espana really quick before i go uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons lisa larea Marco Steenburgen, Holly Parker, Rogelio Jr. Rivera, and Wesley Harlow. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.